Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, listen, just want to give you guys a quick cap of what's going on. Uh, I got an email from a good friend of mine in Israel. They're talking about leaving Israel because of the corruption of the globalists, uh, as he put it, the satanic globalists that are corrupting all levels of government in Israel. And he's planning on getting out of Israel. We're talking about an Israeli citizen, very dedicated to Israel, leaving the country because of the corruption is so bad in Israel. Uh, on another note, and something that many of you are already aware of, Biden signed an executive order today uh, basically declaring Russia a national threat. Russia has taken this, uh, this latest labeling of their country as an act of war. We're already dealing with the fact that Ukraine is spiraling out of control. Biden administration clearly created this situation. We reported it. We clearly showed that the information was given to us in advance. Ukraine's military was going to advance on Donetsk, Luhansk, uh, Crimea, and act as if they're taking back parts of their country, when in reality, all they are doing uh, is provoking Russia. Well, they've provoked Russia, and Russia is going to respond as a result of this. Uh, Russia's not going to take it laying down. And, uh, you know, Putin has basically told America, stay out of it. Well, America's not going to stay out of it because Biden wants to pretend like he's tough when he's really not. At the same time, we know that China is planning on making their move with Taiwan, uh, Malaysia, and Hong Kong. And we have all these different scenarios. I was uh, speaking with some friends today, um, and there is a strong consensus that we may get hit with some sort of nuclear devices by early as June. Now, I have to confess to you that there is conflicting reports from people that are sharing this information with me. Uh, and it doesn't mean that one's right, the other's wrong. It's just different opinions, different levels of intelligence, looking at the situation that's going on with Russia, with China, with the whole globalist agenda, and different opinions about how this is going to play out. Now, I will say this. One friend that I have there that does not believe that Russia will hit the mainland U.S. has also clearly stated that Putin could get to the point, though, where he's just had enough. That could change the whole scenario. And I don't know the answer to that. I don't know which way it's going to go. But I know it's a very dire situation. Also, I got an update about what's going on in Yemen with the Houthi rebels that have made their, uh, their strike on Marib, the province that the Saudis have. They are suffering tremendous losses at the hand of the ISIS fighters that the Saudis have brought in to defend Marib. What I was told is that the ISIS militants as, as they lose ground with the Houthi rebels, because the Houthi rebels are better fighters, better equipped, but as they lose ground to them, they will take a vehicle, this hardened steel, just walls of thick steel, they'll bring it in as a suicide vehicle to attack, um, to attack, the, to attack the, the Houthi rebels and he said when they blow the vehicle up, it is so massive of an explosion, it just decapitates the Houthis. They go away bleeding out their ears, suffer massive losses as a result of these, uh, these counterattacks by the ISIS militants. So, so it's a very dire situation that's happening over in Yemen. We're just on the precipice of a global meltdown everywhere. And I wanted to share this with you guys a little bit. Uh, we've been dealing with my dad uh, here uh, where we're at right now. Uh, thank you for those of you that have been praying for him. Um, he's after major knee surgery. He's not doing very well. 
Uh, so we thank you for praying for him, and we're hoping to get back uh, home tomorrow and uh, to be able to get back in the saddle. Uh, and we've been making some headway on our office as well. Uh, a friend of ours has been working on that while we were gone, so we're hoping to be in our office very soon. And we want to thank you for your support and helping to make that possible uh, as well. I'm Stephen Benoon. Uh, don't forget an EMP shield. All this stuff I keep hearing about I only say that because I don't want to see our friends and loved ones there without one if you're able to get one. So definitely, uh, if God provides for you to be able to do so, please do that uh, for for your own family. Uh, so at least somebody in your family, well, one vehicle. If you've got several families together, pull together, maybe one person get one to where you can look out for each other. It's another idea. And don't forget, INL50 will save you money, and they're still running their discount as far as I know. Uh, so this is really an opportune time to try to get that. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Brennan. My hair is a mess, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys.